damn it. Uh, it's really interesting. Um, the announcers are very similar uh, in where I live. Okay, the three places, Chicago, Milwaukee, and Minneapolis, different cities. Uh, but it's always the same, and the Yankees take the field on a beautiful afternoon, and the 2-1 and one pitch to O'Neill, whoa, towering shot to deep right field, and it's gone! They sound like that. It's really kind of funny. Obviously. Oh, I, I misunderstood. I misunderstood you then. I thought, it, I thought they are. Yeah. I the misunderstood. It's similar, you. right, George? It, it sounds like just just like you just did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. Um, so I misunderstood. I misunderstood you at the beginning. I thought do they look? I mean, sounds similar to others. That's uh, what I thought. Similar to the other people, right, 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 right. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. No, I meant similar to each other. Different announcers. Oh, okay, okay. Now I got it. And and they do, don't they? Yes, just just like. The one that you just did. Just the same, right? Basically, yes. Basically, yeah, that's yes. That's right. That's right. So, Berta, your role was almost Mission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> now, let, now, Berta, in Mexico, I don't know. I know in Central America, baseball is popular. What about Mexico? The football. Right. Soccer. It's soccer, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, but I, here in the U.S., I watch sometimes, you know, on Sunday. <laughs> I watched, uh, just for the, uh, you know, listening, I used to watch uh, baseball games, so, so I have the idea that maybe they talk like that. Yeah, they do, that's right. Yeah. So, for the, and I'll tell you everybody, the first time you listen to a baseball announcer, it's like almost impossible to hear anything, but every game, they say the same things. So once you start to catch it, every game at that point, it's easy. It, it becomes easy. So uh, don't worry about that. Anyway, uh, take just a, a couple of things. Uh, you said take a field, but it, it needs to be take the field. Not a big thing. World Cup soccer. Soccer, two Cs. Oh, so, I'm sorry. Yeah, every four years, I love uh, to watch that, you know. Uh, as, an, as a typical American, I had no idea about soccer until 2002, and at that point, I uh, totally loved it. Uh, I, it's great. I love the World Cup. Sydney. Read this, please. Uh, Hall is holy. Okay, that was pretty good. Ah, holly is holy. Holly is holy. Holly is holy. Perfect. Bertha, this word? Um, that word? Very good, very good. So it's, it's a verb. As a noun, we can talk about like a building. It's a tower or the radio antenna tower. So tower. Oh, okay, thanks. Was that, that was Mikiko. Uh, we'll skip that. Uh, uh, this one, this one is intonation. Now, think about this sentence, Marlene. Two words are most important. Which two words are most important, Marlene? Two words. One more. So the, yeah. Actually, I don't understand this sentence well. <laughs> okay, oh, that's fine. Good, good. And I understand, I know why. But let me skip, I'll, I'll explain in a second. Let me ask anybody else. There are four words in this sentence. Two are most important. Anybody? What are they? Sydney? One, two, go. One and go. Ah, no. More to go. More. More and go. Nope. <coughs> One more. Yes. Now, let me explain why. I'll explain why. One more. One more to go. One more left. One more remaining. 
one more home run. We can change the sentence many different ways, but every sentence needs one more. Needs one more. So one more to go, one more left, one more remaining. He needs to hit one more home run. He needs he he must hit one more home run. One more is the key. So the sentence, Marlene, is he needs to hit one more home run. Okay? Okay. So now one more to go. Yeah. <laughs> one more to go. Is it? Very good, yes. <laughs> Very good. Jerry's line. Again, George. What's all this? Be a human. Hey, what's all this? <laughs> Not bad. What's all this? Hey, what's all this? Yeah. Now, actually, this is a bit strange. That would be better. So let's change it, George. What's all that? Hey, what's all that? Perfect. And Sydney, try Ma'am? this. One. Try that again. I'm going to make your dinner. Good. I'm hearing your, and I want you. I'm going to make you dinner. I'm going to. I'm going to make you dinner. Get, don't going to is good. Let's change it to gonna. I'm gonna make you dinner. I'm gonna make you dinner. <laughs> Be nicer. I'm gonna make you dinner. Yes, much better, much better. After, Sydney, after. After. Scarfed up. Scarfed up. More D. Scarfed up. Scarfed up. Mutton. 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 Leave the tongue. Mutton. Mutton. Nope, you're moving Mutton. your tongue. Yes. Mutton. Right. After you scarfed up my mutton. After you scarfed up my mutton. Scarfed up. Scarfed up. No, no, no. Don't worry about this. Get rid of this and put it over here. After you scarfed up my mutton. After you scarfed up my mutton. Good. One more. After you scarfed up my mutton. Good. I had the irresistible. I had the irresistible. So this word has how many syllables? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> wow. Ear, re, zi, sta, bull. Okay? Ear, irresistible. Irresistible. And right now, your intonation is perfect. These three or those two, rather, are the key. Irresistible. Irresistible. So, the year, the year, I had the irresistible urge. I had the irresistible urge. To make pork chops for you. To make pork chops for you. You said said. It's not said, it's said. I said hello to Franco for you. I said hello to Frank for you. Franco. Franco. One more time. I said hello to Franco for you. Great job. Butcher. Butcher. Not buh, buh, like book. The good book butcher. The good book butcher. The good, good book butcher. The good book butcher. No, good book butcher. Good book butcher. Better. Good book butcher. Good book 
Butcher. Better. Good book. We're really good. So we're recording this. Listen to yourself, okay? Okay. Thank you. Let me go to George here. Linking George. I Betty. I Betty. Betty. I Betty. Yeah. So it's just like the Betty. I Betty. I Betty. I Betty acted. I Betty acted. I Betty acted. I Betty acted. Betty acted. Betty acted. Good. A little more. Betty acted. Betty acted. I bet he acted all aloof. I bet he, I bet he acted all aloof. Good, all aloof. All aloof. All a, all aloof. Yes, yes. So we got. What I want you to do is put it into two groups. It'll be easier. I bet he acted all aloof. I bet he acted all aloof. Like he. Like he, like he didn't know me. Like he didn't know me. Good. I bet he acted all aloof like he didn't know me. I bet he acted all aloof like he didn't know me. Much better, much better, much better. George, one thing for you, grouping, ryth rhythm. Really work on your rhythm, okay? Okay. Great job. Better to try this again? Bottom of the A. Bottom of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth. <laughs> Great job. Very good. Thanks. Uh, this was Marlene. Ah, uh, so Marlene, I think you kind ah uh, the e wasn't long enough. Yeah, and this is typical for Brazilian students. The e just isn't long enough. So I want to hear, uh, read the whole thing, both, all of it, all three, and give me more e and he. So try it again, please. He can do it, Mr. Kramer. I know he can. He'll do it for me. I liked it much better. He can do it, Mr. Kramer. I know he can. He'll do it for me. Yeah? <laughs> Repeat? Yes. Uh, he can do it, Mr. Kramer. I know he can. He'll do it for me. For me? <laughs> for me. <laughs> Okay, short A, and finish, do this sentence one more time. Don't go too fast, Betty, but try it one more time. Mm. Okay, rolling back to the wall. O'Neill heading for third. Yeah, heading, and that's a great word. I'm heading to the store. Uh, where are you heading? Yeah, very good, very good. Uh, Makiko's gone. Go on, the W connection there. Park, a little more R. Beyond, a little connection there. Uh, and this is tough. With a throwing error, charge to Martinez. With a throwing error, charge to Martinez. You got it. Yep, the THs. Did I get the Martinez? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I, I did it with the American R. I mean T. Yeah, Martinez. It's Martinez. I think it's Martinez. Okay, so I was going to ask, what's what's the proper, what's in Mexico, what do you say? Martin, Martinez, yes, Martinez. Oh, so America, Martinez, and in, in Spanish, Mexican Spanish, Martinez. Yep. Thank you. And nada. Uh, ah, yeah, uh, flap T, Marlene. That's not a home run. Bingo. Yeah, you got it. Great job. Any questions on Seinfeld? Uh, can uh, we say scarf down and scarf yep. up? Is that the same meaning? Yep. Great question. Yeah, actually, uh, Edel, uh, somebody else asked it too. Yes, you can. Scarfed up, scarfed down, no problem. I scarfed down a pizza. I scarfed up a pizza. The nuance is when we use up, it means completely. When, it, when we say down, it just means, you know, eight. I scarf down. Yeah. Scarf means a lot. So, arr, scarfed up, everything. Com completely. Uh, I thought it was like because you bring your, you know, your food up to your mouth. 
And that's the reason you say yeah. Be yep. careful, because barf up is the other way. <laughs> so, so so sometimes up uh, does mean you know up, but not in this case. Uh, it means it's like shut up and clean up and uh, you know completely. That's the idea. Clean up your room. Okay, thank you. So that means all completely. Yep. All right. And I would Good. say, Beretha, scarf down is probably more common than scarf up. Uh, yeah, thank you. Shane, the meaning of a loose, a distant. Yeah, it means distant. Um, almost arrogant. So, so the situation. Um, oh, Jerry says hi. Who? Okay. This kind of acting. Who? I don't care. Who's Jerry? I don't know Jerry. Whatever. This kind of attitude. Okay. And you do towering shot. Towering shot. Super high, towering, all the way up to like a tower height, so a okay. baseball okay. tower. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bet. All right, I shall close this. Let's go to some candy. Um, did I do this one earlier, guys, or not? Which one did I do earlier? The, the rabble dabble in scramble. Okay, yeah, we'll do candy. That's right, rabble dabble. We did that one. So this time we're gonna do some candy, and I'll break it into pieces a little bit. Uh, I'll try to be fair. Try to give everybody a section here. Hold up. Boom, boom, boom. All right, and I'm going to color these so we're not confused. Ooh, that's a big section. Oh, well, we'll do this. Marlene, I hear you turning the page. What? <laughs> I hear you doing something. Mute your microphone. <laughs> okay, sorry. No, that's fine. <laughs> Thing. Okay, let's do this. We're going to go backwards. I'll start with Francisco. Francisco, all of the can white I, section, starting with the title. And can then, I go first? I got I to gotta hit the road. Okay. I'm sorry. So, George, let's, let's do this then, George. George, do the first two, and then I'll correct your pronunciation right away. Oh, thank you very much. Yep. I'm Ryan Burley, and I am Eric Burley. And welcome to Shane Candice, established 1863 here in Philadelphia, America's oldest continuously operated confectionery. In 2010, my brother Eric and I bought the business from the Shane family and embarked on an 18-month restoration of it and really try to keep the original character of Shane's, including the name. That was pretty good. Title. Title. Oh, I'm sorry. Scarily Delicious. Good job. Scarily. 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 S careful with the R. Scarily Delicious. Scarily Delicious. Scarily. Scarily delicious. Good. Super, super delicious. Philadelphia. Scarily. Philadelphia. Phila, Phila, Philadelphia. Philly. Phila, Philadelphia. Americas. Americas. Careful. Scarily Americas. Scarily. 
Caroly Americas. You're touching a little bit. Don't touch. America. America. Good, good, good. Operated. Operated. Confectionary. Confectionary. Even though it's airy, it's airy. Pronunciation is airy. Confectionary. Confectionary. Your linking was pretty good. Put this together. Eric and I. Eric and I. Give me more Z. Shane's. Shane's. Have an excellent evening. Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thank you. Okay. We'll go ahead and, and pick it up then from Francisco, and we'll keep going right through. Francisco, go ahead. The process has been really a journey of collecting antiques for the business. Everything from the 1910 cash register to the glass just that we showcase our candies. It's all an experience that we are trying to transport people into the past. Sydney. My name is Vanny Sundrum. I'm the head confectioner for Shane's Confectionery. It takes 10 ingredients or less to make any of our candies. We don't use preservatives. Everything is done fresh with local dairy, locally sourced sugars. Everything that we have in this kitchen, we know where it comes from. Marlene. Sweets, sweets and chocolates, sweets, sweets and chocolates had always been woven into the commercial fabric of Philadelphia. Clear toy candy making dates back to the to at least the 18th, the 18th, 18th, 18th century. So we bought this collection of the old models. And Bertha, the yellow. Too late. We started with 220, uh, with 250 molds, and now we're up to about 1,200 molds. Once we have these perfect clear toys in molds, we have to let them harden, and then we take oyster shakers and actually oh, pry the molds apart and. Then very, very carefully <clears throat> pray out these gorgeous little glass candies. You had the same one. Good job. Oh, my gosh. Little, little. <clears throat> and back to Francisco. We can produce probably about 500 in one day, preserving this ending method of candy making, which is really dry, a dying art form. It's something that we are very passionate about. Shane is becoming better known for clear toy. Uh, historically, Shane, for 100 years, has been famous for their buttercream chocolate. Very good. Sydney, yellow. The machine itself has been lovingly restored over the past two years. Once, once you worked in this candy store, you became a machinist. You became a historian and you became a part mad scientist as well. At one point in the 19th century, there were only 200 small candy shops darting all parts of the city. And Marlene? Cheney is one of the last remaining, and so we really feel that, not, that not only are we saving the tradition of this one store and we are carrying it into the future, but it's the whole concept of making a boutique sweet product here by hand using old-fashioned methods. And Bertha, the yellow section, finish yourself. There we go. Um, we like to think we like to think that this is the past of America, but it's also the future. 
there's a lot, there is a bit of history in every piece, and we're making memories for generations to come. Yeah, really good, very, very good. Um, being real picky on your R's. Okay, let's yeah. go back to the top here, Francisco. The process has been really a journey. The process has been really a journey. Good, but really a journey. If you, don't do that. Watch my lips. Really a journey. Don't do that. Really a journey. Really a journey. Much better. Really, really a journey. Really a journey. Good. Journey. Journey. Is it business or business? Business. Yes. The process has been really a journey. The process has been really a journey. Business. 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 Everything from? Everything from. Good job. Nice job with the TH. It is all an experience. It's all an experience. It it's is all an experience. It is all an experience. Not bad. It is all, now this word needs more emphasis. It is all an experience. Is this all an experience? It is. It is. Good. Try it again. It is all an experience. Much better. Experience. Experience. Very good. And Sydney's favorite, it takes, no, it takes 10 ingredients. It takes 10 ingredients. To make any of our candies. To make any of our candies. Any of. Any of. Even more why. And so it's like any of any of any of any of any of any of yes to make any of our candies to make any of of our candies good job very good local dairy local dairy locally sourced sugars locally sourced sugars sourced locally sourced good sourced no sourced with a stop okay sourced sugars yes and marlene woven woven good job uh, sweets and chocolate have always been woven into. Sweets and chocolate have always been woven and into. The commercial fabric. The, com the commercial fabric. C -c the commercial fabric. The commercial fabric. Of Philadelphia. Of Philadelphia dates back to at least the 18th century. Dates back to at least the 18th century. The 18th. The 18th. The 18th. The 18th. Your TH is too heavy. It sounds like D. I don't want D. I want the. The 18th. The 18th. Make it longer. Let's do really long. V. V. Good. V. The eighteenth. The eighteenth. Bought this. Bought this. Good. Old molds. Old molds. Very good. Very good. Yeah, you got the little at the end, Betta. Give me more D on this one. More D? More vibration. Okay. Okay. Harden. Harden. Yeah. We have to let them harden. We have to let them harden. That's right. Yeah, really good. And 
you got little. You got it, yeah. Okay, thanks. Uh, back to Francisco. This is a verb, so produce. We can produce. We can produce. Pro produce, produce. It's more of a show. We can produce. Pro produce. We can produce. Perfect. What does Samsung produce? Sorry? What does Samsung produce? You're talking about the, uh, uh, the, the, the microphone? Uh, no, 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 mobile phone? Right, right. So give me a sentence. What does Samsung do? Yeah, they, they produce... No! Pro, pro. They produce... They produce... They produce... Notebook 7? <laughs> Gallery... Oh. <laughs> Yeah. I don't care what they produce. I just want to hear you say produce. <laughs> produce. Okay. Good. 500. 500. Hun okay, so 100 is an, an interesting word. Uh, so 100, the perfect pronunciation, everybody, 100, 100, it actually sounds more like drid. 100, 100. But many Americans say 100. Hun Hundred, 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 and many Americans say hundred, 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 hundred. So actually, again, the three, the four pronunciations, hundred, 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 nobody says it. Hundred, hundred, beautiful. I recommend hundred, hundred. Many Americans, probably the most common, hundred, hundred, and hundred, hundred. So I don't remember what they said. If it was the woman, her pronunciation was probably clear, probably hundred is what she said. If it was one of the guys, probably one of these. I don't remember who said it. But Francisco, we can produce probably about 500 in one day. We can produce probably about 500. Pr produce. Produce. One more. Produce. From the beginning. We can produce. We can produce probably about 500, 500, 500 in one day. <laughs> 500. Preserving. Preserving. Not pre. Pr. Once again, like produce. Same thing. Preserving. 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 Good, good job, good job. Which is really a dying art form. Which is really a dying art form. Good. Be a little bit more tuck, tuck, tuck. Which is really a dying art form. Which is really, really a dying art form. That was great. Really good. Your favorite? Something. Good. Is it passionate or passionate? Passionate. Yes. When do we say eight? Uh, when it, it is used as verb. Bingo. Perfect. It's uh, Now everybody remember. It's possible for some nouns to use eight. It's possible. But if you want a simple rule as a verb, eight, as a noun, adjective, adverb, it, it, you'll be safe. You'll be safe. And here's another great example. Again, Francisco? Chocolate. With an S, chocolates. Chocolate. Great job. Perfect. Sydney, your ING. Lovingly. Lovingly. Lovingly restored. Lovingly restored. Ing. Loving. Loving. Lovingly restored. Good. One more, please. Lovingly restored. Beautiful. Past two years. Past two years. It, this 
uh, Sydney, how do you say this word? Machine. This word? Machinist. And you went a little bit fast uh, for this section. Try this section again, Sydney. Slow down just a little bit. Okay. There were over 200 small candy shops darting all parts of the city. Much better. Small. Small. Shops. Shops. Small shops. Small shops. Is small, no. Small shops. Small shops. Dotting. Dotting. Dotting all parts of the city. Dotting all parts of the city. Here and there in the city. Okay. Great Dotting. job. Dotting. 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 The tongue down. Ah, yes, da, ah, yes. Dotting. Perfect. Marlene, couple of Z's here. Shane's is. Shane's is. Shane's is. Is it? Shane's. Shane's is. Good. Even more, uh, it's like, let's do this. Uh, Shane's is. Shane's is. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Shane's is. Shane's is. Of this one store. Of this one store. Of, of this one store. Of this one store. Of this one store. It's the whole concept. It's the whole concept. Sweet product. Sweet prod product. By hand. By hand. Okay, now, this sentence is the most difficult sentence. So we're going to practice this with everybody uh, again, but we're going to wait a second before we do it. Um, before we go there, let me go to Bertha first, and uh, let's, uh, a couple of R's, Bertha. These two, please. America Generations. Yeah, you got it. Okay. You see, uh, you haven't, you, you've been correcting me a lot on my R's today, and you know why? Because I, um, before, you didn't correct me because I tried, when I speak Spanish, I try to keep my tongue in the American uh, position and it worked very well but now I forgot about it but guess what this week I'm gonna do it again my so, Korean there there were some vowel sounds that uh, I can I could do but if I didn't focus every damn time I would make a mistake and it would make me so angry because I know how to do it but it's it's tricky so, Bertha, my heart goes out to you. I, I understand. It's something that you really need to do every day. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, but uh, you know, um, and when I spoke Spanish with the American R, I, I was looking to the people's faces to see if they noticed something in speaking, and they didn't. And then later on, Clyde told me that in Costa Rica, they speak the American R, R in Spanish. So. I was so interesting. That's that, that's really that, interesting. Yeah, because uh, and here my the people who speak the Spanish doesn't they don't notice that I am speaking with the American R. So. That's that's really cool. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, so late again. All right, Paulo, you're late. So therefore, I give you the most difficult sentence. Try this, Paulo. Yeah, you're an hour late. My God. Again? <laughs> the, yeah, the clocks are changing. Don't worry. Next week you'll be okay. Try this, try this sentence here, Paolo. Oh my God. 
I can I can see I don't know I can see and so we really feel that not only I'm tired I always say saving the tradition of this one store and or carrying it <laughs> I'm kidding <laughs> and so we really feel that not only are we saving this saving the tradition of this one story or carrying it into the future. But it's the whole concept of making a boutique, sweet, pro sweet, product, sweet product here by hand using, product here by hand using old fashioned methods. Ah! It's okay. It's really tough. And you did a good job. Not great, but a very good job. Very, very good. All right, so let's let's work together. I talked about this in the explanation, or maybe in the pr the pronunciation video. Uh, get rid of the beginning. Uh, the sentence is in two pieces. This is one part, and uh, I'll just make it uh, uh, not bold. And this is the second part. So uh, we got two parts here. Mm -hmm. We really feel that. Not only, but also. So we need to recognize this pattern here. So we have a not only A, but also B. Now, many times we don't say also, we just say but. Not only A, but B. The problem is A is really long and B is really long. And yep. the, pro the problem is A has two parts. Not only... A and <laughs> we got two parts here. So there are two sections to A. Uh, and then B, uh, this section here, is really confusing too. Uh, it's the whole concept of making a, a boutique suite product here. By hand is emphasis using old fashioned methods. So looking at this. Let me find another volunteer. Who wants to try the sentence again? Not Paolo, not Marlene. You two guys have been fired. Sydney, uh, go for it. Yeah. We really feel that not only are we saving the tradition of the own store and we are carrying it into the future, but it's the holy concept of making a boutique, sweet product here by hand using old-fashioned methods. Super job. The pronunciation could have been a little clearer, but your intonation and your rhythm was perfect. Great, great job. Great job. Uh, Francisco, you want to try? Okay. Well, we really feel that not only are we saving the tradition of this one store and are carrying it into the future, but it's the whole concept of making a beauty sweet product here by hand using old fashioned methods. Not too bad. Again, too fast. And I would prefer more emphasis on the but. But it was really good. It was good. Slow down a bit and more emphasis on the but, okay? Mm -hmm. Bertha, you want to try it? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> I'm sorry. We really feel that not only are we saving the tradition of this one store and are carrying it into the future, but it's the whole concept of making a boutique sweet product here by hand using old-fashioned methods. Yeah, once again, really great. Uh, the intonation and rhythm was just right. It's We can follow it, and this is a difficult sentence. So let's go back to Marlene. Try it again. Okay. We really feel that not only are we saving the tradition of this one store and are carrying it into the future, but it's the whole conce concept of making a boutique sweet product here by hand using old-fashioned methods. Much, 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 much better. Very good. And Paolo, go for it. Your mic, there you go. The same? Yep. The same? 
we really feel that not only are we saving the tradition of this one store and are carrying it into the future. Try it again. Right. Start over. Start over. Smoother. Okay. We really, we really, my God, we really feel that not only are not only are we saving the tradition of this one store, and are carrying it into the future, but it's the whole concept of making a boutique sweet product here by hand using old-fashioned methods. Very good. Again, I would put more emphasis on but and don't let this confuse everybody. This is one unit. Uh, it's not making a boutique sweet product here. It's making a boutique sweet product here. So this is actually the noun. Uh, and don't leave out the here. Don't leave out the here. Of making a, it's the whole concept of making a I'll keep this together. This is uh, one little section. This is a terrible sentence. This is spoken English. If I were writing this sentence, I would make it much shorter. I would make it much easier. But when people are speaking, you know, they're, they're, they're speaking <laughs> fresh, which makes it really tough, very tough. Okay, you guys did Sydney. really wonderful. Go ahead, Sydney. If, uh, only a question. Normally we have the subject and when I analyze the syntax of the sentence, the period. For instance, this R, not only R and this, after, this R after and. What is the disconnect to the syntax of this? Right, right. So, not only are we saving, we are uh, and not only are we carrying. This is perfect grammar. So the English, you know, the native English speaker is going to catch that. Not only are we saving uh, and are we carrying, but even though the we is gone, we catch it. We catch it. We understand what, what we're saying. So it's really messy. It's really bad. It's, it's very bad for uh, following syntax, following grammar. So, but uh, when analyzing, we really feel that not only we are saving, it's implicit we are. That's what you want to say? Yeah, the are we is implicit, yes. No, we are. We are. We are. Because we, are we saving? Do you understand? Not only are we saving. Yes. So, and we feel that not only we are. We can't. Why not, say, we, we can't say we, like we that. Are not, so we are we, saving. So we are saving, and yes. we are carrying. Yes. And also, um, it's the whole concept. So now we, it, it really is awkward. So when we use the not only A and B, not only we are is wrong. Not only are we, that's the way we need to do it. That's the, that's the, the grammar uh, uh, pattern. So every time that I use not only, I use, I invert the order. So let me give you an example. So, use the not only but also. So, not only not but also. Hungry and am I tired? So, so, so what, one more time. Not what? Slow down. Not only am I hungry, but am I tired? And am I tired? But? Am I tired? Also, am I tired? That's how you have to do it. Isn't, okay. it, isn't so, it terrible? Let's so when I use not only, I, I, I invert. And then when you, after the but, you go back to normal. 
Okay, so in this case, as I have two not only, that's the reason why I invert in both. Yes. That's what you want to say. Thank you. And the problem is they took out the we. So they complicated a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So not only is it already complicated because we have an inversion and then we go back to normal, but also there's an and, and also they left out the we. Yeah. So the best way would say are we carry or omit the we. The best way would be not only are we saving the tradition of this one store and are we carrying it into the future. We, absolutely. Okay, thank you, man. But I would personally, not only are we saving the tradition of this one store and carrying it into the future, I would just get rid of this. Okay. Because it's very difficult, because this not you only, I didn't know that. So when I have not only, not you only she's studying, but also she is doing her best. Okay. Great job. Yeah, it's just practice. It's a good pattern to practice. Not only A, but also B. And not only am I tired, but I am also hungry, whatever. But also, so are you hungry? Only with not only? Mm, I hate to say only. There might be others, for sure, with this one. Okay. I'm not a grammar teacher. I People say I, I do a good job teaching grammar. Well, thank you. But I'm not a grammar teacher. Grammar is a nightmare. Yes, I understand. But only to have an idea why this sentence is like that, because it's a surprise. Well, remember, when people are speaking and they're thinking of the answer as they speak, is their grammar good? No, of course not. In any but they have an Yes, but they have a structure. They have a structure, mind. But, they, but as they speak, they change, and they change, and they shift, and they pivot. We, yes. Students have asked me, do something like Oprah Winfrey. Do, do a show like that. <gasps> I have taught Oprah Winfrey maybe two times you know, in my class. What a nightmare. Uh, the structure, it's, it's mind-boggling. And when students read, they think too much. If you don't read and just listen, it's easy. But when you look and analyze, your head explodes. Yes. But native, they, they learn since they, are, they were a child. Right. So they we structure is important. Yep, that's right. But, uh, because in Portuguese, the structure would be completely different. <laughs> Korean, too. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, guys. You guys have a fantastic evening. Great questions, great job. Any Francisco, go ahead. Yeah, I, I'd like to know, what is the commercial fabric of Philadelphia? I, I have the idea business what business environment. So, good question. What is the commercial fabric of Philadelphia? Um, the business makeup uh, um, environment is what the commercial fabric means. So let's take uh, uh, the commercial fabric of Hollywood is what? A movie. And? Actors, <laughs> music. So when we talk about fabric, this is fabric, right? Yes. So if we look very carefully, some fabric goes this way, and some fabric goes this way, right? Yeah. So we need something going this way, and something going this way, and then we get a fabric, right? 
Yes. So, uh, in Hollywood, the commercial fabric is uh, music and movies and TV and documentaries, whatever. It's it's all of this. This makes up. This makes up. These make up the fabric, the commercial fabric of Hollywood. So in Philadelphia, part of the commercial fabric is confectionaries, candy businesses. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. You guys, Can this you? is so valuable with uh, live classes. I get these questions. They're very good questions. Go ahead, Sydney. Uh, normally, when you pronounce C-O-M, commercial continue complete it's it's a sound complete continue commercial is it e i hate that question uh, no 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 but but if i wanna yes gen okay if i if i i see a new word i can try that it's, yep. it's a good shot yep yes okay yeah i i agree it's it's a Likely, very likely. Very likely. <laughs> I feel like a terrible. See, I'm not a teacher. I'm a coach. No, yes, of course. But you're a native speaker. Right. Of course, you have much more condition to because we we need to use an 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 knowledge. To we have we have to have kind of rules. We need them. Yes, 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 of course. And if you can't stand to the heat, you get out of the kitchen. Move on. <laughs> yeah. Happy Pappy? Happy Pappy. <laughs> What's up, farmer? Uh, I, I was reading something here. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I learned something new, uh, to do things by the book and catch my drift. I taught those, those expression you. things. Yeah, you did. did. Did you? Did you? Sure. Oh my god. That's okay. I am. I'm always late. Out. Oh, even for this. No, no, they're really, they're really good. So let's go. Uh, Catch my drift. I'll give you the links. Oh, I didn't? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, I need to do that. What was the other one? The things by the book. <gasps> Whoa! Go You're a layer. Oh, my God. You're a layer. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll put these. I have to write this down. Uh, oops, hold on a second. I need to write it down because these are great. So to do something by the book means to follow the rules perfectly, step by step, the rules, okay? Okay? Yeah, yeah. And to uh, catch my drift means do you understand what I'm saying? Probably I'm not explaining 100%. I'm only explaining 60%, 70%. But do you understand what I'm talking about? Mm. I can't believe I didn't teach this. Buy the book and catch my drift. They are on I my list. More. Should I tell you guys the future expressions? Yep. Yes, please. Here we go. This starting on Monday. To be over someone shook me to my core. The nuance there needs to be to stamp on, to stamp on, to stump all your ducks in a row. That ship has sailed. Nasty. A cakewalk. Threw me a softball. Out in left field. In the Bush League, a household name, up to speed, hindsight is 2020, buy the book, and catch my drift. That's about the next three weeks. 
you're gonna you're gonna reach the two thousand very fast man. Thousand <laughs> north very fast. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good expression, isn't it? Yeah. But you you should you should have tell us the meaning of the expressions too. No, that's why I gave you a link. Oh, okay. Did you, did you see the link? Uh, no. Yet. I'll show you. Put it. Could you please put it in the? It's in the assignment. I'll show you. One oh. more. Yeah, but they, they never work uh, when we click on it. Right here. Uh, but yeah, but when we click on it, they don't work. All the those links that you put there. It's right there. It works perfectly. I just did it. Okay. If, it, right. if a link doesn't work, let me know, okay? Okay. And here the definitions are right here. Oh, great. Thank you, because I need to learn a lot of uh, these expressions. I like yeah, it. idioms are fun. Yeah. They, and, um, they use them a lot, too. Surprisingly. Yeah. Thank you so it's much. What's that? No, it's very interesting because the Portuguese will have some expressions that uh, I understand. It's very, they are very similar. Do you mean it's similar it's, as in English and Portuguese? Yes, play hardball. It's very interesting. Oh, that is interesting because I don't think baseball is popular in Brazil. No, no, but uh, the idea is it's, it's the same. Perfect. Because it's sport, normally it's the same. Yeah, softball and hardball, yep. Yeah, they have a ball. Very have interesting. Ball. Yeah. Very crazy. It we is. Don't have, we don't have softball, we have fresco ball. Fresco ball? <laughs> <laughs> Sydney, Sydney land. <laughs> so one only thing that have have in Rio de Janeiro, fresco ball. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes. That's Paulo. Yeah. No, no, no. I will never play fresco ball in my life. Please don't. <laughs> I'm out of here, guys. You guys have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye, happy puppy. <laughs> Shane, if you please, uh, Windows Desk, Windows 10, Windows 10 is not box, it's not syncing. So you uh, sent me a letter. Okay, that's all that. And other question: This schedule is, it will be the same for when? Next, next, this month and the next. Because or, I would make you a suggestion. Yeah. Instead of the name of the teacher, the first column, the date, the day, the weekday. Do you understand it? It's easier. Next year, we're going to do that. Uh, this year, it's going to be every week except for probably the last week, maybe the last two weeks of December. Uh, next year, we will have uh, the, the weekly schedule. So you'll see the date, the teacher, and the time. Next year, we're going to do that. Okay. Because Can you the first column is the name of the teacher. The most important is the day, weekday. Right. And you see, so so and next you year, schedule. next year it's going to be the calendar date, and yeah. then uh, the time. I think no no no. Uh, it's going I think it's going to be the calendar date, the class, the time, and the teacher. I think. Okay, it will be better. Yeah, okay. It will be much better. I hope so. No, sure it is. Okay. Take care, you guys. Have a great weekend. Have a nice Sunday.
Okay, thank you, Chair. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye, bye, thank bye you. Paul. Bye bye, Bertha. Bye bye, bye. Merlin. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh. Mahmoud only in January. Yes, he's coming back in January. That's right. Okay, he told me that. Okay, bye bye. See you. Go. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm going to sleep. You get yeah. some good sleep, Paolo. Marlene, Paolo, Sydney, sleep nice. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> you too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.